please welcome our traveling correspondent, comedian Tom Papa, in a segment we call Out in America. Hey, everybody. I'm continuing my journey across the country trying to shine a light on all the good people in America. It's been a hot, humid, muggy affair on the East Coast, the kind of weather that makes you wish your clothes were made of paper towels. So I decided to hit the beach where I spent most of my childhood, or as they say around here, I went down to the Jersey Shore. I drove to a small coastal town known as Long Beach Island. It's a beautiful spot with white sand beaches, but you have to be on high alert because there's a good chance you'll come in contact with people from New Jersey. I parked my car, excited for a healthy day of refreshing sea air. It was a short walk to the beach, lined with bookstores, ice cream stands, and candy shops. Have you ever gone to the beach for a healthy getaway and within minutes found yourself stuffing peanut butter fudge into your face like a fat squirrel? I have. Why do people only eat fudge at the beach anyway? You never see fudge on a dessert menu in a fancy restaurant. I've never been in a steakhouse and had the waiter ask, have you saved some room for some fudge? Maybe it's too silly for those places. But in an area where people are wearing their bathing suit as pants, there's fudge all over the place. The only reason people don't eat fudge at the beach is if they're eating taffy. If fudge had a fun gay cousin, his name would be Taffy. As I approached the beach, I met a retired New York policeman named Pat. He's a big Yankee fan with bad knees. He can't walk through the sand very well, so he sits on a bench at the entrance, listens to the baseball game, and mocks everyone who walks by. He's like a heckling Jersey welcoming committee. He took a piece of my fudge, rubbed his giant belly, and said, look at that chubster. His bathing suit is tighter than saran wrap. And get a load of that guy in the orange Speedo. He looks like a peanut M&M. He said, this beach is nothing but sea lions under beach umbrellas. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. I've been thinking of going to the gym lately, but as I headed down to the ocean, I suddenly felt pretty good about myself. Until Pat yelled, watch out, ladies. Fudge boy has hit the beach. Crashing from my sugar high, I laid down on my towel for a nice summer nap. Have you ever had a dream that you were on a romantic beach getaway, and when you woke up, realized you were spooning with a Yankee fan named Pat? I have. An entire Italian family had set up around me, Jersey Shore style. You have to understand, the people from Jersey don't just put out a blanket and quietly lay down. They recreate their entire New Jersey living room. They put up a giant tent filled with tables, TVs, and recliners. The children were burying themselves under piles of plastic water bottles. A summer's worth of food was spilling out the sides of giant coolers, and an Italian grandmother in a house dress was making lasagna. As they drink beer and wine all day long, not once do they leave the beach for the bathroom. Every once in a while, they waddle down to the ocean, stand in the water for a minute, and waddle on back. Have you ever watched a drunk guy go into the ocean and secretly wished for a shark attack? I have. There have been a lot of shark attacks this year already. Whenever someone gets hit by a shark, they always say it was a mistake, that the shark doesn't want to eat us, they just mistook us for a seal. Well, maybe that's because when we go into the ocean, we act like seals. We're not swimming around like dolphins. We're bobbing up and down like bait. If I was a shark, I'd be pretty annoyed. I would take bites out of people just to make a point. This family was pretty annoying, but sometimes when you travel, you have to go with the flow. And sometimes the flow means playing a game of cornhole with an Italian grandmother named Nani. And if you're lucky, you'll win that game, and they will make you the king of the family and give you a giant glass of wine and a crown that is really an old football helmet. For all the chaos, this beach really is beautiful. The sun was dancing on the top of the water like a crystal chandelier. 
The waves came crashing onto the beach with intimidating force, but then calmly went back out, letting us know that everything was going to be okay. Have you ever had so much wine on a beach that you found yourself getting emotional as you rubbed tomato sauce on your belly like it was sunblock? I have. And that's what's great about the Jersey Shore. Until next time, this has been Tom Papa out in America.